Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mighty Boy. You are the Mighty Powers, and this is Loom. So last time we learnt the rest of the drafts the island had to uh, offer us. We made our way off the island on this um, bit of broken tree, and we are now faced with uh, what it seems to be like a terrifying typhoon of sorts. So I think the whole point now is to try and find the flock. Not of seagulls, these guys are just hanging out because they're bored. We're going to try and find the flock of swans, and I just got to get past this thing, adventures away. So, let's see. Why don't we really just uh, not deal with this at all, actually? Let's just get around. Uh. <laughs> oh no, Bubba! <laughs> <laughs> ah. uh, so you think this would kill a normal person right and yeah <laughs> oh loom so loom never really kills you it never really kills you by the way it's still dawn that's what i like this guy's learnt several magic spells and um escapes an island within i don't know half an hour <laughs> yes, let's. Let's try this again. Um, okay. Oh. I can't go into the twister. How do I... Okay, if I can't get past, if I click on it, is it just going to let me stop there? Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's not a twister. It's a water spout. Of course it is, because it's in the ocean. Hmm. Okay. I think that's close enough. F D D E. Let's note that one down. F D D E. And what does that do? Let's try it out. I suppose F D D E. That only twisted it tighter. Okay. I twisted it tighter. Okay, so this is the twisting draft. The twisting draft, the twisting draft. Okay, so... Logic of Loom says we can reverse this one. D, F. I think the only drafts you can't reverse are the ones that are... I can't remember the name of that thing. When basically, if you turn them back around, they're exactly the same thing. So, the light draft we had the one that lit up that tent that's d c c d so that one doesn't matter how you do it, it's always going to be d c c d but if they're not like that you can reverse them do fun stuff and i'm glad that we got that f note now that we went and did all that stuff because if i reverse this so e d d f hopefully this will untwist the twister Aha! Uh -huh. Yes. Yes! Okay. Are the girls coming with me? Are they not? Huh. I suppose you're just there to see me off. Get off my island, bubbin. Okay, let's go up here. Haha! -ha. And the branch is now gone. What's that? Oh, new note! Yes! Okay. Now we have G. G, and what does G do? Oh, right. So that's for our fill and empty. We can now use that somehow. We can use that. Can we click on this? That, that, that. What's going on here? You know, left? No? All right. So that looks like um, the Wizard of Oz over there. Um, and that's just shining. That's nice. And then there's a forest over here. There's some rocks over there. Okay. I'm a foresty kind of guy. So let's go to the forest. Let's check it out. Maybe we can fill something or empty something now. Okay, anything to click on. The Wizard of Oz is still sitting over there beckoning me. I'm not going to go to him right yet. I like the forest. Can we go up there? Is there a hole? Oh, hello. Where are we going? 
That seems dangerous. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Didn't want to go there. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back. Don't want to visit that place just yet. I always, I feel like adventure games always really start in the forest and end in the cities. It seems to be one of those logics, isn't it? You always start in the wilderness and then you come to the big bad. Whoa. What was that? E.G. C.G.? Halt. Who goes? Well, well, well. Looks like a scrawny runt trying to sneak into our flock. Sneak. You call that sneaking? I heard them coming all the way in from town. Thought you were going to fleece some shepherds. <laughs> Get up. Maybe we ought to take the shears to you instead. Well, these guys. <laughs> uh. trouble. I'm looking for a flock of <laughs> Bobbin. Swans. You know. You know why you get bullied. Swans. It's that I voice of yours. We should have known. Everybody comes here when they want swans. Ah, next, next you'll be telling us you're some sort of wizard off to fly away with them birds. <laughs> <laughs> wizard. Wizard. You wouldn't happen to be the great wizard that Fleece was telling us about, would you now? Fleece? He is sort of dressed like a wizard. I don't know. He doesn't look very oh. to me. Me neither. I say we don't let him by until we know for sure. Come on then, wizard. Let's see some magic. Uh. Or else. <laughs> oh. No, oh, okay. Um, let's see some magic or else. See, this is where I always think the opening spell could just open them up, you know? No, too gory. All right, now what did they do? Did they do E? It may help to point at something else. Hey, okay. E, G, was it E, C? That isn't oh, no. Um, E, G, C, E? Hmm. Guess that isn't a draw. Damn it. Hmm. We need to find some magic for these guys. Okay. Oh, right. I forgot the spell. They surprised me and I was talking. Uh. Come on, lads. He's had enough. Let him go. Some kind of wizard, eh? Oh. Sip on your robe, little wizard. Get on, you lazy bunch of yous. Back to work. All right. G, C. G, C. Okay. G C G C. So they just turn themselves invisible. That has to be the invisible draft, of course. Um, so C G C G. That's the visible one. I can't really show them their magic. That's not exactly um, going to be proven much. There's no straw to turn to gold because I thought that would have been great. Nothing to fill and empty. Okay. Look. Let's just let's go to the Wizard of Oz then. Let's go to the Wizard of Oz. In the Emerald City. Uh, oh. Where are we going? Oh, wait a minute. Just come around here. Nothing of interest. Oh, what is that? Workers. Okay. That doesn't seem great. Mm. Not so fast here. Oh. Oh, okay. I trust 
your excellency is pleased with our progress? That all depends on how far this scare can help me see four hours, most assuredly. Uh, perhaps six is a bit rough. Only six hours? But I expressly requested eight. Every sphere is unique, Bishop. It is impossible to accurately predict how well this sphere will perform. I need at least eight hours. Eight hours, Master Crucible. See, do I Must be a sleep sphere, because I need at least eight. All right. What is this thing? Can I get up there? No. Can I get up there? No. There is that thing. What is this? All right. That guy did not seem like he was a good guy. That guy did not seem like he was going to help us on our quest at all. He sort of seemed like he was an evil douche. Crystal. Huh. The glass bell. I wonder what will happen if... What? Oh! Hello. I'm dizzy. Ah, look. Who are you, lad? And just what do you think you're doing up here? I I'm not sure. I just rang the bell and well, I Well, I'm sorry, but you're not supposed to be here. Step back under the lens, please. This is a restricted area. <laughs> is allowed. Good day, sir. Oh. So teleportation. All good and fun. I guess I'm not supposed no, to. No, you're not. <laughs> hmm. All right, there's nothing else in here. Let's go back outside. So we went. Did we go up there? I think we went up here to where the workers were. Okay. Okay. What can we do? Strong gold, twist, untwist, visible, invisible. Bleach. Mm. What can we do with the workers up here? What can we do with them? We did just learn the invisible spell. Why don't we try that? There's the fill and empty. We could empty. How about we try empty? Oh dear. Um, G. E. E. D. Empty him. No. Okay, how about the invisible then? Let's go invisible. G C G C. Did it work? Only one way to find out. Okay, that sounds more promising. Right, let's go back here. Ha ha. Well, Bishop Mandible cuts quite a figure, doesn't he? I don't doubt the crucible is getting tired of bowing and scraping to him. Why would the clerics want a spying sphere anyway? I thought they didn't believe in the future. Well, your guess is as lucid as mine, sweet. The crucible appears to think that they're up to no good again. Then why would he do business with them at all? Let alone sell them a sphere. Well, you know, Crucible, he'd sell his own mother's spectacles if he thought there was a profit in it. And the clerics are paying off in cash, which should keep us in the clear for years to come. Still, I'm certainly pleased that Crucible's not taking any chances. This side might become very useful if our friend the bishop has been less than transparent with... Ouch! Yes. Very useful indeed. Okay. Let's go check out the scythe. Oh. C, D, D, A. 
the DDA. That's going to be the sharpen. All right. Um, so A D D C is opposite of sharp. Blunt. Blunt. Yep. Good. Good. Okay. Now what do I do? Um, workers. That scythe is even sharper than a weaver's spindle. Workers. 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 Hmm. Oh. So why don't I do the opposite? Oh no, because it needs an A. I don't have the A note. Eh, all right. Um, can I turn that invisible? How about I turn the scythe invisible and give them a bit of a scare? I need to choose my draft. Ah, oh, okay. So there is a draft I can do on this one then. How about twist? This bad boy. D F F D D F F D and they got really scared. I don't know what one that is. D F F D I'm just going to write that down. I don't know exactly what that was, but that looks like we can deal with the shepherds that way. Damn bullies. Oh. What is that? A volcano or something? Okay. This thing's going to show me heaps of stuff. Oh, a swan. C. F. G, C, oh, wait a minute, C, F, G, C, that's the swan, that I think is the transcendence one again, we'll check it out though, oh, okay, back to this one, I don't know, D, F, F, D, and they ran away. Oh, so it's like scared or something. Snake? That sounded like a snake. We're going to go with that. We're going to go with scary snake draft. <clears throat> All right. Okay, let's go back then. And I'm still invisible. Phantasmo. Okay, let's go. Oh, I sort of uh, evilly want to blunt in there. Um... <laughs> they're psyched when I get the chance uh, just because I want to hear the sass I want to hear the sass of the cyphers alright let's get in back to these guys we're going to wrap this episode up pretty quickly I think I'm just going to go scare the shepherds and once I do it'll be us done and we will see what happens after that I do like this game. This game is, is um, I don't know. It's kind of, it's not going to make your brain bleed. Things are quite simple, you know? Like, there's only a certain amount of drafts you can use. There, it's, I don't know. It doesn't take much to sort of see logically what draft you're going to use. Um, it gets to the point, you could probably just use every draft possible and something would work. But, you know, I don't like playing like that. I don't like just using every single thing in sequence until something works. I sort of like to try and figure it out a little bit. Let's go see the dad joke bullies. He 
is back. <laughs> so are we. Okay, let's do this. That snaky one or something. D. Oh, yes, yes, you have to point something. Okay, shepherds. D. F. F. D. Whoa. <laughs> well, that worked. I don't I don't feel very sick. Just cuz you're not Bobbin, but we love you anyway. All right guys, look we are going to stop the episode there. Uh, I am the mighty boy, you guys are the mighty powers, and thank you, thank you for listening to Loom. Next episode, we are going to try and join the flock again. I don't know exactly what we're doing right now, but um, we're probably going to try and join the flock. We're going to have a little bit more adventure and see where this story takes us.